in a barber's chair. Put me in a barber's chair. Snip, snap, and I had no hair. Snip, snap, and I had no hair. And if I die in a combat zone, if I die in a combat zone, box me up and ship me home. Box me up and ship me home. Put me in For a over chair. half a century, the world has regarded the United States military as the greatest military power the world has ever witnessed. The United States has the most advanced military technologies with over 1.8 million service members in current active duty. With over 450 ships that are actively commissioned, the US Navy has a larger Navy than the next 13 global navies combined. However, with any powerful military, it needs to be powered in some way. The DoD, or the Department of Defense, handles and maintains the U.S. military. It handles the budget and the usage of energy and resources for the military. In the fiscal year 2011, the DoD spent less than 5% of a 600, $680 billion budget on energy and resources to power the military. Roughly 77% of what the resources the DoD uses are oil. Currently, the DoD spends about $20 billion towards its energy consumption. With 3.8 billion kilowatts hours of electricity and 125 million barrels of oil being consumed each year, that amount of electricity can power San Diego for over six months. In fiscal year 2010, the U.S. military consumed oil at 77%, electricity at 12%, natural gas at 8%, coal at 2%, purchased steam at 1%. Of all the oil the U.S. military consumed, 58% of it was used for jet fuel, special naval forces used 10%, diesel for 3%, motor gasoline 2%, and fuel oil was 2%. It takes more than energy to have the strongest military force in the world. To produce one Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, it takes $4 billion, with most of it going towards the naval construction yards, and the rest being spent on the actual parts. It also takes 47,000 tons of welded steel, over a million distinctive parts, up to 900 miles of wire and cable, and about 40 million skilled hours of engineering battalions. This construction can take up to 7 years to be laid down. The Nimitz-class carriers are nuclear-powered and only need to be refueled once every 50 years. This is just one example of how much resource the DoD uses. The Navy currently has 11 of these Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. Once you begin to compile all of the consumption, it all adds up. The burning and using of these resources have a tremendous impact on the environment. In fiscal year 2009, the DoD consumed up to 932 trillion BTU, or British Thermal Units of Energy, costing 13.3 billion dollars. This is roughly equal to what the entire country of Nigeria uses each year. This is equal to 73 million metric tons of CO2 released in the atmosphere. However, these emissions only count for 2% of what America emitted in fiscal year 2009. In fiscal year 2010, the DoD emitted only 52.2 million metric tons of CO2. However, this is still five times larger than what the United States Postal Service emitted, which emitted 7.2 metric tons of CO2. Less than half of what the oil that the U.S. consumed was in domestic U.S. The DLA or Defense Logistic Agency delivers 170 thousand barrels of oil each day to the war theaters such as Iraq or Afghanistan, costing $9.6 billion last year. Each day in Afghanistan costs more than $300 million to fund. These payments take a toll on the economy, costing taxpayers millions of dollars each day. In light of all these facts, the DoD is taking steps toward a more eco-friendly military these steps can include reducing the amount of energy the DoD uses. According to the Pew Charitable Trust, the DoD will increase their renewable energy source to at least 25% by 2025. This will focus on cleaner sources of energy 
powering the military and will save $11 billion over the next decade. This will greatly boost the United States in helping them with reducing the national deficit. Currently, the Navy, Air Force, and Army are planning to develop one gigawatt of clean energy and by each branch by 2025. One gigawatt can power about 250,000 homes. In Fort Blitz, Texas, the Army is constructing a 20 megawatt solar farm to power the divisional headquarters. This is going to be the biggest renewable energy project that the military have, will have done. Although the United States retains the best military power in the world, the DoD is the single largest energy consumer in the United States government. With $15.2 billion of the DoD budget being spent on energy, the DoD consumes about 932 trillion BTUs and emits around 52 million metric tons of CO2. Although these are, are reductions from prior eras such as the Cold War era, the military still has a lot to do to strive toward a better, eco-friendly military might.